Three poems by Lima Linse. My Lover's Clothes, Vilnius, Lithuania. I brought my lover's clothes to Caritas. As I stepped through the gate, a man, reeking of stale cigarettes and vodka, stumbled forward to claim my bag. Pone, I will take these, he said, addressing me politely. He relieved me of my bag before I could even ring the bell. And because I was afraid of him, I did not protest. And so, rather than my lover's fine cashmere sweaters and expensive soccer jerseys and smart button-up shirts going to the deserving destitute, they were destined to be sold off or traded for a fresh bottle of vodka or maybe a pickle to ease down the vodka or a pack of cigarettes. The others, lounging in the doorway, descended upon him, reaching deep inside my shopping bag, pulling up item after item for inspection. Like a flock of vultures, they plummeted upon the carcass of our love, devouring it until there was nothing left, not a scrap, nothing at all. The Greatest Manifestation of Love it was winter in Vilnius and the sidewalks were slick, the streets covered in packed snow. I stood in the queue at the pharmacist, waiting to buy antibiotics for my son's never-ending cough. An old man stood in front of me. He was wearing a Soviet-era suit, covered with a thin trench coat. He was of the generation who had survived the war. When his turn came, hands trembling, the man held out his prescription towards the pharmacist. It's for my wife, he said. The pharmacist took the slip, rummaged around for ages, opening and closing stacks of neat white drawers. Finally, she held out two boxes. This one is what the doctor prescribed, she said in a kind voice, but it's expensive. This one, she said, pushing the other box towards the old man, is a generic drug, and it's cheaper. There was a long pause. The old man let out a sigh, deep as history, ancient as eternity. Then he stammered, but I love my wife. The pharmacist rang up the more expensive box. Poem from my grandmother, Janina, Turlita Simutiene, who left Lithuania in 1936 and was never able to return home. Oh, Russia. Oh, Russia, because of you, I am here, rootless in America, not quite able to grasp the fabric of this country, carrying my strange name around with me like a suitcase that doesn't quite fit in a train station locker. Oh, Russia, you've rendered me homeless in a split-level ranch in suburban Long Island. Oh, Russia, with your murdered millions, forgotten and voiceless, you are far away now, far away and growing fat, like a ticking bomb waiting to burst.